Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco. I'm Chris. Today's new comic book day, and we got a fairly healthy stack. Thick stack. Of books here. Not the biggest we've ever had, but definitely bigger than last week's. So let's go ahead and get into it, because we've got a lot to talk about, starting with Edge of Spider-Verse number one, new Edge of Spider-Verse series that introduces uh, Spider-Rex. I love Spider-Rex. He had a very short story, so this is a few, what was it, like three or four stories, I think, in, in this issue. Um, and so his was, was very short, but I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I also really liked uh, Spider-Man Noir's story. Yeah. I thought his was really cool. Aranya was okay, I thought. Who was at the beginning? Um, oh, yeah. spider Lard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fun. He was fun. I love spider Lard. Um, But, yeah, definitely my two favorite were Spider-Rex and Spider-Man Noir. I thought those were the two better stories. Um, I assume moving forward... Like, in this issue, there's, a like, like I said, little stories that moving forward will kind of connect, I, th I guess. Yeah. Is what it seems like. Uh, but yeah, definitely interesting. Um, had a lot of fun with it. Even um, even if this was just a little one shot with some little fun stories, I think even that would be would have been a pretty fun little read. Uh, moving on, keeping it with the spider theme though, we got Spider Punk number. What is this four? Oh, number okay. four. This is the B cover. Uh, I'm not familiar. I don't remember what the artist is, but uh, the A cover is pretty cool looking too. But I like this one a bit better. Um, been just a super fun story as well. Uh, very interesting universe. I think if you have any, you know, interest in, in rock or punk type uh, stuff, then uh, it definitely is probably more interesting. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, just an alternate take on not only Spider Man, but, you know, you have uh, Kamala Khan. Last issue you had Daredevil, which I thought was really fun. That's probably my favorite character uh, in this whole run. Um,. Uh, Riri's in here, there's a Captain America, but sometimes it's like, it's the character but a little different, and sometimes like, it's the character but a lot of different. Um, and it's kind of kind of fun, it's just, you know, alternate universe stuff can be an interesting time to do different things. And then we have the new Fantastic Four, number three, which uh, has been pretty good. Yeah. Um, this... Uh, I have this, like, feeling that I can't quite... Re Either I didn't read number two or I'm forgetting something. Because, like, the part that involves Johnny Blaze in this, I don't remember how that came to be. That's not Johnny Blaze. That's Danny Catch. No, not him. This guy. Oh, Johnny Blaze? Yeah, Johnny Blaze, Johnny oh, Blaze. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you said Blaze in my first... Oh, uh, Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Sorry, yeah. wrong Johnny. Johnny Storm, Human Torch. So I was thinking of the right words. Yeah, yeah, you were right. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't remember how what happened to him. Happened. Um, the priest or whatever wished that they weren't there. It didn't work on I Ghost Rider. That. Yeah, and uh, so the Fantastic, or so oh. everyone else went to the Fantastic Four. Okay, I do remember that now. Yeah. And okay. Sometimes and you know Johnny you, was like, you read yeah, these. Yeah, you can use the Fantastic Car. You can you read these uh, comics a month apart, and you just kind of forget sometimes. Um, but that makes sense, and now that also puts in context the weird stuff that's happening with Ghost Rider. Yeah. And I kind of get that, and that kind of makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. But regardless, I mean, it's been pretty fun. Um, the thing that is happening with Human Torch, I think, is really interesting. I don't really know yeah. where it's going to, like, how it's going. Um, I like, I don't know if we know who, if we've seen him before, but... Uh, Joe Fixit's friend in this issue. Yeah, I thought he was a pretty fun character. Probably in like Joe Fixit stuff. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with him. I haven't read a single Joe Fixit thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, fun, fun read. I enjoy it. And then uh, Moon Knight number fourteen it was really good, really solid. So we're uh, exploring more of the the mental side of Moon Knight and all of his personalities. Um, I love when. A character has an inner monologue in the middle of a fight. Not even, like, paying attention to the fight. Just, like... Yeah, that's yeah, this, yeah. that's basically this entire book. Yeah, this whole thing is... is there's there's a fight going on. Between... And it's... Um, do we know who these characters are? Uh, they, yeah, they were the assassins sent last uh, issue. Oh, I mean... But do we know their names? Uh, probably. I don't remember. Anyway, I think, um... I think this is their second appearance. Because they're cool looking. 
Uh, but anyway, it looks like saber tooth. Um, I just love the art in this whole run. It's so good. Um, just another I, fantastic first page because they're yeah. so good at first pages. Yeah, go ahead and show that off. But like, just check that out. It's awesome. And I just love every time. What's the final page? Because usually it's really good too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, and it definitely yeah. The story's great, and the art is also great. Like it's just this beautiful combination of uh, a lot of things going on. Like there's some other books we'll get to that, because sometimes you know like you might have a a really good story, but the art's kind of like whatever, uh, or. Maybe the story's kind of whatever, but the art's amazing, so that keeps you into it. But, like, Moon Knight's just the whole package. Yeah. And it usually has... This is one of the weaker covers of Moon Knight, I'd say. The B cover on this was really weak. Yeah. But, I mean, just, like, as far as this whole run has had some pretty incredible covers. Yeah. And this one, it's fine. It's not... I don't hate it, but, you know, eh, it is what it is. Um, But, like, I mean, that's the thing, like, incredible interior art, incredible story... Incredible, uh, covers. incredible covers, like Moon Knight is just is just everything. Everything you'd ever want. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been high on my recommendation list. Uh, and then we have Ghost Rider number five. Well, this is the B cover, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the B cover. This is a B cover, pretty awesome. Yeah, cover there. Uh, again, not familiar. Don't remember who the artist is, uh, but it is a sweet cover. Uh, can, Ghost Rider continues to be a really cool story. I think for me, I have some issues with it. I feel like this mystery of what's going on is getting dragged out a little too much. Um, although I, I, it feels like we're getting close to some answers, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't. For me, the most interesting part of the story is actually, and I forget her name, I always do, but the this uh, this chick. Yeah, I forget her name. I can't remember her name, but she's a really cool character. Uh, and honestly, I like that. Yes, I, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, because that was really cool. There's a lot of cool things that happened to this issue. Uh, Plot-wise, for the entire story, I'm having some issues. Um, but yeah, the the other character that was introduced in this series, uh, I think she's super cool. I would love to have a lot more of of her. Um, and, you know, I'm sure, you know, we're going to continue to get more of her as we go on. But, like, I just kind of have this same feeling, issue to issue, of Johnny Blaze walking around being like, I don't know what's going on. The Ghost Rider's trying to tell me something. Huh, okay, let's fight a monster. <laughs> you know, like, like that's what it feels like every issue is. Uh, but that being said, uh, without spoiling anything, there is a gratuitous amount of really fun cameos in this issue. Yeah. Um... Something I was pretty excited for. Um, yeah, it was, it was very unexpected. Um, oh, yeah, and then the final... Big reveal. Big reveal the character is one that I'm pretty interested in. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm happy, again, we get a little bit of nugget of knowledge. I feel like we're kind of shifting towards some answers here. I think the, the final page reveal is a pretty, pretty cool... And definitely has me excited. I've been enjoying it. So don't get me wrong. I do have problems with it. But I have been enjoying it. And this was definitely a pretty fun issue as well. And then we have... Um, what are you... Oh, there. Uh, Iron Man 22. Uh, this was a variant cover. Kind of hard to uh, see. Cover, it, I believe. Yeah. It is really sick, though. Yeah. It is a really, really cool cover. We picked up that one. As well as the Predator variant. Predator variant's really sick. We're getting all these, so you know, had to get that one. Uh, still have I'm very dreadfully behind on Iron Man, so haven't done that. Uh, but then moving on to uh, Demon Wars number one, Iron Samurai. Um, awesome. I, I really really enjoyed this. It's uh, fun. I just have no idea what's going on. He he hopped into it. Um, not reading Demon Days. Well, there is some stuff that you definitely missed out on. Uh, I feel like it's mostly explained. Yeah. Um, 
Um, they explain most everything, and you can pick up through context. Yeah. Like, uh, and, and, oh, the ex-assassin with red hair is probably Black Widow. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most confusing thing, and that's like not even, you know, necessarily not from having that context. Yeah. A lot of times they just give them other names. And uh, I'm pretty sure the big the big bird man's just Falcon, if I had to guess. I think. Um, There's a big bird man. I'm pretty sure he's Falcon. He's on cover A. Hmm. He's yeah. Right there. <coughs> Who else would it be? I I get yeah I guess that's and that's kind of sometimes how it is, but like ultimately, it doesn't really matter if you make the connections, all the time because. They're completely reimagined versions of these characters, so it doesn't matter. So obviously, like for example, this one's Iron Samurai, so we're introduced into Iron Man. But, I mean, he doesn't really share any characteristics of Iron Man. No, he's overly aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, a little murderous to an extent. I... Really, really enjoy the art. And also art. a demon, I think. Yeah, yeah. But I really, really enjoy the art in this issue. Um, I like the little fellow, the coconut shaped man. Yeah, I don't know. Got a little thing in the back here. Um, I do like the next issue cover as well, too. Pretty cool looking. Um, uh, he is a wart god. I don't know what that means. But it's always fun. They have a little uh, thing you can read about the characters in the back of these issues. Um, <clears throat> I cannot wait. If, if y'all haven't seen... I forget what they call it. It's like a deluxe edition or something. For uh, Demon Days, they released all five issues in this giant, like, treasury-sized issue. And just off this first issue alone, I really, really hope they do the same thing with this. With all the Demon Wars. Because... I really, really like the art in this one. Uh, out of Demon Days, I like the art throughout. But um, after, I get it's the second or third one, but it's Demon Days uh, uh, Mariko, where I, I thought just really stood above the rest of them. And to me, this one, this one matches up with it. I thought was it was just really, really solid um, all the way throughout. And uh, but yeah. Enjoy the story as well, but for me, the real awesome part was just the art. Like, and, you know, I was, I'm a big Iron Man fan, so we also picked up uh, the Malieve variant, uh, which is, you know, this really traditional Japanese kind of style. Style of art. Yeah, which was really cool because I was really shocked to learn this is a Malieve because he Has, does, doesn't really. Do this. He does yeah, he doesn't do this stuff. style, but he clearly can. And so that's that's pretty cool. Um, really, really solid cover. I like this one a lot. I even like uh, like the dirty background, you know? Yeah. I think adds so much to it. Um, but yeah, super, super fun. Uh, moving on to a cover by, we have Immortal X-Men number five. You know, if there's an Art Adams variant, I gotta grab oh. it. I don't think this one is as good as that one in 25 for... Uh, I think it was the Hellfire Gala. There was uh, some number of weeks ago. Another Emma cover. This is like the close-up of her face. No, 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 no. She's like kind of bent over in like a kind of weird pose, but I really like it. It's a really solid one. Um, but I mean, I still really like this one. Don't get me wrong, but I, I like the other one better. Are we done with Marvel? We are done with Marvel with that. Moving on to DC. So starting off with Poison Ivy number three. This series has been awesome. It's been really, really good. Um, Basically, so I'm missing some context, but again, I'm able to pick it up through context clues. Um, so, sometime before this, I think very recently, uh, Poison Ivy had a lot, a lot of power. She keeps saying she was a god, um, and then her power was taken away from her. Um, and she's, is, you know, kind of not a unheard of but you know she's ready to just terraform the earth and just take out everybody bring it back to to plants and um especially in this issue i mean throughout a little bit but i feel like especially more in this issue you get a little bit of 
her fighting with herself. You know, as she's on her journey, she's running into some people, and they're good, nice people, and she sees that, and she doesn't want to hurt them, but she's, like, kind of fighting. It's like, I know I need to do this. The Earth is killing, you know, the people are killing the Earth, rather, and this is for the good of everything. Um, but, you know, she kind of stops and helps out some people and stuff like that, and... She, like I said, it's just fighting with herself, and it's. But at the same time, like previously, you know, you you've watched her just completely destroy people and turn them into these plant fungus. Just, bleh, just, just, you know, just it's like a plant bomb went off inside of the people, and it's super grotesque. And so you know she's like capable of this, you know, destruction, but then also. Um, she, there is a kind heart to her, like it all, and that's the thing. Like it all comes from a, a kind heart, but it's like that, pushing the boundaries and you know how far will you take it type thing. Super fun read, really enjoy it. And I went ahead and picked up all the variants this week, so I cannot remember the artist, but this cover, is incredible. Maybe my favorite cover of the week. It is really, really, really strong. There's, I feel like there's a lot of uh, good contenders of, of best cover of the week. Um, again, another super awesome Ivy cover. And then we have the Art Germ. It's the only artist I remember. That one is pretty cool. And then I went ahead and also picked up the 1 in 25, which I like this one a lot. I think it's a really, really nice cover. And then, um, moving on to Batman 126. Is this a new character in this, Marco? Wasn't he? He popped up in the last issue, didn't he? I don't like remember. Like, last page, I think. We didn't really get to see him. Um, but I, I'm pretty... You know, we didn't get to see him, like, do anything. This issue, we yeah. got to see him do some stuff. And he's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's a pretty cool, pretty dangerous character. Um, I... He's got little bat ears. I... I like this issue. I like... And we were actually... It's funny enough, we were talking about this at the shop earlier today. Um, I don't... I hate... I hate, hate, hate the... I don't remember who he was even talking about, but uh, one of our co-workers said... Uh, about Batman, specifically. Yeah. But I don't remember who the other guy was. And he's uh, like, well, actually, if, if Batman had enough time, he could, t he could take him out. And I, I just hate that. Because here's the thing. Whoever's writing whatever book it is has the ultimate power to do that. That's not a power special to Batman. Yeah. There's so many fights that shouldn't go that way, but because the book is... If Batman came into a Thor story, you know what I mean? I know I'm crossing things over or whatever, but, you know, the book is Thor, then probably Thor's going to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because... It's his run. That's just how comics work. Like, it's so many times that the, it, all odds are against these characters. Every comic book character. But they win. Because it's their book. I don't know why people have this crazy thing with Batman. Where they he can beat literally every other character all at the same time. And it's just so boring. But in this issue, Batman's getting... He's getting whooped. And yeah. it's enjoyable. And while he's gonna win in the end, you know, because he's Batman. Yeah, but, like, the stakes are there. Yeah. You feel with any wrong slip. And he is desperately gripping. Like, he could die. And that's entertaining. That's a cool character to watch. Even, like, his internal monologue is like, I better not mess up this could be one slip i'm done yeah and you really feel that like and you're but because of that i am pulling him or pulling for him to make it through even though yes if i sit back and think about it i know it's a batman book and i know he's gonna win but this issue had me on the edge i swear to god if he dies next issue that'd be really funny <laughs> it, would, it, would be, it would be um but this this issue had me on the edge and it had me like oh my god like he's he's in trouble and that's great for a character, you also, know? Also, I didn't even, like, really look at it. This is a really good cover. Um, 
Like the Nightwing uh, reflection in the blood and all that? Yeah. I think... I think it is, but it isn't. If that makes sense. I think because it, it takes a second for you to realize what... Like, when you look at it, it's it's kind of a flood of information for your brain. Yeah. And though, so there's something in there, like... It is a smart cover. But there's something in there that maybe just doesn't quite work. Again, I don't hate it or nothing. It's one of, the, but I feel like you have to stare at it for a really long time to appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so uh, oh yeah, it even says it on the cover there, "Fall of the Dark Knight." And but yeah, I mean that that was uh super cool. And what what makes this interesting is you know like Batman has to escape. And then, you know, I don't know what's going to happen moving forward, but I, you know, he's, I assume he's really going to have to figure out, like, how to beat this. And that is, yes, what Batman does. Yeah. But, um, I think this also demonstrates a perfect example of, you, you can't just give Batman infinite time to come up with a problem. Uh, or to come up with a solution because if you give anyone infinite time they're going to figure it out yeah. you know what I mean again that is just how comic books work but um, this is a great example of somebody just popped up and started whooping Batman you know what I mean <laughs> and he's he's not you know invincible he's a human he's really good but uh, anyway I don't know Hung up with that for a while. Had to let it out. Had a rant. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good issue. It's not a video without a Marco rant. You know, you know. Um, so this is the first one, right? Yeah. Okay, so then Chris read Sword of Azrael, Dark Knight of the Soul. I believe this is some uh, partial reprints from Urban Legends, I think is what I read. Hold up. One second. What? <laughs> Shoot. I read them in the wrong order. The order you told me not to I told read you read, read the one shot first. Yeah. Anyway, so. Well, they didn't. They didn't like really tie into each other. I don't know why. I said I think they do. I didn't know. I was just giving you a little heads up that I thought this might. Okay, so there you go. Elaborate. This is your turn to talk. I didn't read these. Oh, um, it's hard to explain Azra because I don't know a whole lot about like his history or anything. I don't know anything about him. Yeah, I just like his design. I think it's fun. Yeah. And so I, th I said, screw it, I'll pick up one of uh, these books, you know, and... Okay, so that was a one-shot. <clears throat> yeah, that was the one-shot where he, uh... Someone's making synthetic Lazarus uh, things, and so Azriel, being very religious, thinks, The dead are rising back! This is Judgment Day! I have to go out and punish sinners real quick! <laughs> um... And that one... But Which this, is just sort of Azrael, a little mini series. Yeah. Number one. This, he is at a monastery after he has apparently decapitated a man with his flaming sword in a previous issue, in which he's like, oh, I gotta not do that again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so he's at this monastery just trying to atone for his sins. Uh, and then, um, as many things happen in comic world, things show up and mess things up for him. And he has to become Azrael again. And that concludes our DC section. And then we got just a few, um, indie books. Starting with... Where's the number on here? Ten. Okay. Basilisk, number ten. I picked up the B cover. I really like this cover. This is another one that I, I think could actually maybe be contender for best cover of the week. I want to um, end on a happy note, so I'm switching these. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm doing this on purpose. No, but I want to... <laughs> no, it's... Anyway, anyway. Um, so, pretty good. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, really, really like the cover on this one. Um, Basilisk has been a pretty, pretty good story. Um... I'm not absolutely crazy about it as far as, like, my indie books go. But it's definitely good enough to keep me interested. Um, but, yeah, just not my favorite, I guess. And, again, I'm not trying to attack it, but... I am. Nah. It's, it's, you know, like, I have other books that, 
when I get them, I'm like, you know, I can't wait. And this one, it's kind of usually like at the bottom or near the bottom of my stack. And I enjoy it when I read it, but I'm never like, oh, I can't wait. You're like, I didn't read this and be like, I can't wait for the next one, you know. Um, so then moving on to twig number four. Got the Momoko variant as we're getting all the Momokos on this series. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a great series. Um, I like leading off where him he was facing the rhino thing. Yeah, the, I think the one horner is what he's Something saying. like that, I can't remember. <clears throat> but in the last issue, that's where we left off, and we pick up right there um, with it. And uh, again, this is another story where I kind of... I really, I do really enjoy the story, but I kind of lean towards the art being more of the focus for me, because uh, I think it's Kyle Strom. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it at all, but yeah, just excellent, excellent art throughout. Yeah. Um, a super fun world with fun characters. Just always we have the, weird creatures and characters, people. and just each issue. Sometimes it feels like each panel. You know, it's just another, like, what is going on here? I love it. You Splat know? and Twig are my favorite duo in the I world. I really like this new Rhino character. Yeah, I love him, too. We I, can't say much. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, you know, obviously we get to... I like how creepy things oh, can be in this little cute world, yeah, too. Yeah, it's, yeah this, it's this weird mixture of absolutely adorable and absolutely terrifying. Yeah. There's another character that's introduced in here that is absolutely terrifying, and I really like it. Like, I feel like it kind of pulls on, like, that, like, courage, I don't know, sensibilities. Aesthetic. Yeah, kind of. It's, it's definitely a lot cuter than courage. But I guess with courage, like, like, courage is cute and then everything else is frightening. I guess Muriel's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little old lady. But, uh... Um, She's, like, the cute old lady. Yeah. But pretty much everything else is absolutely terrifying to that. And it, it kind of reminds me of that, except for there is more cuteness in the world. But there, I don't know, it's such an interesting world, because it's like, sometimes you, you look at it and it's like, it's so beautiful and crazy cool things. And then there's these all these terrifying things as well. And it, it's, it's very captivating in that uh, regard. But yeah, there's a character that's introduced in here that I really, really enjoyed. Um, and I, I don't know... I, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but it was, was super, super cool. Great series. Definitely recommend it. And it's a great one that you can, you know, it's for all ages. Literally, I, I, you know, a lot of times when uh, something says it's all ages, it kind of means it's like, it's for kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this is like, if you're a kid, you'll enjoy it. If you're a 28-year-old man, 23-year-old, you'll, you'll enjoy it. I think I'm 29, actually. Anyway. <laughs> Logan? <laughs> I, I am forgetting. Uh, I think it's more regressing. It's like, oh, stop aging. But anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it is just a story for anyone to enjoy. And that's like something truly magical. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome story. Highly recommend it. Uh, and then moving on to the last book, we have The Closet. And it seems like you had things to say about this one. It's depressing. Okay, well, I'm going to let you talk about it because I, I actually... I don't really have... I don't like... I don't know what to say other than spoiler stuff. It just, yeah. It's a tragedy. There is no happy ending. Don't expect one. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it was good. And kind of how I... The cover is a bit of a spoiler. How I predicted it's um, semi-reminiscent of the Babadook, but a lot less complicated. Not to say that the... It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's a three-issue series, sets up a bit of mystery, and then this issue, you know, the final issue, we get some answers. Um, and without saying more than that, which I guess I kind of already said too much, but anyway, yeah. uh, that's about as much as I'll get into it, which I guess if you haven't seen the Babadook thing, then that means nothing to you. <laughs> Um, Go watch it right now. It's a great movie, and you need to watch it. I do. It's probably one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's a really, really good film. Um, but yeah, that's our haul for this week. Except for bonus, we got some cool things to show you. All right, so we got a little fun extra haul stuff, which a lot of times lately we've been showing off our stuff on our hauls or on our streams. We're going to have a stream tonight. 
By the way, which, I understand not everybody can make it. I was going to say, so tonight we're either playing Raft or you want to play Seven Days to Die. Um, it should be Raft. unless be Raft? Unless things change, it should be Raft. Um, but anyway, so we're going to show some stuff that we picked up here recently, a bunch of comics. Vote in the comments below. And so Chris picked up a lot of uh, Wonder Woman covers. I'm not going to tell you the just titles dollar of these things. Books. I don't know what the titles are, nor do I care. I just yeah. think, I, that one might be my favorite one right there. Yeah, they're like just some cover guys. So, again, he was just looking through our dollar bins again the other day and found some Wonder Woman covers. This is pretty sick. I like this one a lot, This too. is pretty sick. Which, I do think Wonder Woman has some pretty great art. But I don't want to pay money for Wonder Woman covers. But, yeah, I just, I could care less about This is a runner-up ever reading. favorite. I like this a lot, too. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, well, yeah, not one non-Wonder Woman cover. A Jubilee. Yeah. That's pretty fun. We might um, have it. I just, it was a dollar. And then I got this one. It's got a, some weird damage in the corner, but it is an Art Adams hungry. cover. I started chewing on it. That's what it looks like. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it's an Art Adams cover. Shout out Strange Academy. Um, and I don't think the book's worth anything. Um, but, you know, just a cool book, and I like my Art Adams. And then oh, moving yeah, on. Oh, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we had a comic sale um, this past weekend at our shop, and uh, we took advantage of it because it had some good sales yeah better deals than our regular discount so i was like i'm gonna splurge a little bit we got comics so <laughs> we got deals. so i picked up this awesome um poison ivy cover was there another ivy cover i don't know oh, got not... am i crazy oh here it is okay i knew there was another ivy cover Check. this is my one of my favorites i love this one it's a weird connecting cover with harley you can see her there except oh, for that one <laughs> yeah the other half like it doesn't split here. Like, it doesn't start. You have to overlap the books. Yeah, Because you actually really see part of uh, Ivy's shoulder in the other one. So it's, it's a it's really It's like the worst book. connecting cover I've it's, ever seen. Like, the actual image is just a square. Like, a perfect square. So, like, it just... I don't know. It just doesn't work. And I, I don't know. I, I think it was probably... It's prob good art. It just oh, yeah, is a it's bad great. connecting cover. Yeah, and I, I really like the Harley part of it, too. Um, never had this book, so... Picked up Infinity Gauntlet number one. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you know, just a awesome. Um, it's that's a Perez cover, I think, right? I think pretty so. Pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, you know, obviously, super iconic. Just the composition of it's really good. Oh yeah, and then uh, another Art Adams cover. Um, Boom. Kind of split fifty fifty on this one because I'm a huge Art Adams fan, and he's a Doctor Doom fan. So um, the only Fantastic Four books we own are probably Doctor Doom covers. Um. I think there's about to be something else. That's a little hint. We'll give that one to you. But anyway, uh, we have a Spider-Man number one. Um, one of those books that I've always really liked the cover. I'm surprised we still had it because usually this book sells very quickly at our shop. And it's just one of those things. not an expensive book, but it's just, it's like, ah, I kind of want it. But, you know, it's just a cover buy more or less. You know, it's just a cool cover. And so, you know, with it being on sale, I was like, okay, have to grab that one. Uh, this one, although I like it, uh, was more so for Chris. Yeah, um, I like it. A She-Hulk book. That... I read this series. It's really good. You should read it too. Yeah. But, but they uh, didn't get a trade. The, like the first book's twenty-five bucks. Yeah. I'm yeah, not. I don't know how much the rest are. Crazy I'm about this, this cover. I think it's page. fine. You know, but um, this one not really for me. So I picked up a Spawn number one. Um, Is it for? It's either going to go in a mystery box one day or go in a grail or no grail video, something like that. But again, just sometimes I pick up stuff and I'm like, the it, fans it, it's a good like prize, this. This you know? Like, you guys. Uh, this is a cover I've wanted for a while. It's yeah. the first cover appearance of Emma Frost. Oh, yeah, we've got the st sticker on there still. X-Men 131. I like her crazy eyes. Yeah, I, I love this cover. Good John Byrne cover there. Um, yeah, super, super fun. Oh, here's another one. Now, granted, don't get me wrong. I do really like this cover. Awesome Adam Hughes cover. But not one... I, I don't... I'm not crazy about Adam Hughes. And I'm not crazy about Zatana. Zatanna. But this cover is really good. But it is a really awesome cover. It? Might make its way into a mystery box. Or Grail or No Grail one day. Yeah, so, I don't know like that, dude. I'm going to be opening up... I'm going to be doing more Grail or No Grails... Uh, in the future, adding more people uh, on the channel to give them a shot at some free comics. So, might be up there one day. Who knows? 
Um, this is a book I believe I sold. I think we had a sla- it slabbed and we yeah, sold Yeah, we, we had a graded copy when I was selling stuff off to get my Journey into Mystery 83. Which I, is I, sad. Yeah, which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but so I, I picked up a raw copy. Um, uh, Are we going to get it slabbed one. again? Uh, I don't know. This one's not, like, super It's not. Great, but, like... Is that a big line right there? Yeah. Or is that the bag? That's the bag. I th- I'd have to... Yeah, it's, I feel like it's the bag. Yeah. Anyway, um... I, I just... Because, you know... Uh, again... All, did this book, sh- book shoot up any when they announced live-action ones? It did a little bit, but nothing crazy. Um... But anyway, so it's, it's just one of those things, it's like, it's a book that I was oh, missing... Hey, it's that book. And nice. I was wanting to get... And then this last one is a eBay purchase. Um, so, and I'm probably gonna make a video on it in some regard sometime soon. So but I have find like, answers. No, not not on that. But not on that? there's uh, okay. certain s- kind of sets that I want to get, and one of them, you know, I have my it's Journey Thor 83. Versus. Yeah, and so one set that I want to uh, get is Thor versus, which is iconic covers of. Um, the first time him battling different ones. And so this is the very first one. It's a cheap book, uh, but one that I really, really like. And it's going to go up on the wall. And for the most part, I do try to put really nice things on the wall. Uh, but this one, it, it's it's not really worth that much. But it's still getting up on the wall because it's going to be part of this awesome set that I hope to one day build. Like I said, Thor versus. So it's going to go. we're going to lose Jane Foster here. Because it's going to go right in the middle of those two books. Yeah, because I almost said something bad. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the glare off. I believe, to my knowledge, this is the first cover of Thor vs. Iron Man. I tried to look. We did extensive research. It was very hard to look up. The technology. And then I posted a, a picture of this book on, on Facebook. In a popular Facebook group. <laughs> that is funny. Anyway, um... <laughs> In a popular Facebook group that usually has all kinds of people chatting all the time. So I posted a picture, not of this specific slab, but you know, before I bought it, I posted a picture. I said, is this the first cover of Iron Man and Thor fighting? And I got a single laugh react. And then somebody that commented, uh, why is Iron Man always fighting the good guys? And that is all that I got out of that post. And I was post like, it again. well... That was super unhelpful. Um, but regardless, even if it's not, it wasn't a lot of money. And I, re- I do really like the cover. There is another cover. It's, I think, Iron Man 150. That's a really cool cover of Iron Man fighting Doom. That maybe might one day... Even though the, the series is really Thor versus, this might be like a little side attachment. Um, on the other side of Iron Man or something one day. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I have some other... Sets. Oh, you're talking about that one, like the real famous one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that cover I, so I much. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But anyway, um, and you're a Doom guy, so I'm sure you know you yeah. wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind getting it. But um, um, but yeah. So I, I'll probably talk more in depth because this video is definitely long enough. Uh, but later, maybe even this weekend, we're about the right sets now at the that I want to this up. video. We're at nine fifty-five. Yes, subscribe. We're almost there. Do you want free things? We give free things. So, I don't yeah. know what we're giving for the giveaway yet. But uh, we're giving it giving it to you. We're giving three slabs away. Uh, Miss Marvel 1 um, at a 9.6. Um, God, it's a Doctor Strange. I can't remember the number. It's like 138 or something. I can, uh, but it's signed by Donny Cates uh, at a 9.4. And then another book, but it doesn't matter because they're all up on the screen. But it's really, really late. We're going to build a really big Star Destroyer. And a two stream days. I don't know about that. I think you're still being hopeful on that, Chris. It's going to take you a while. If I don't finish in the two days, I'm going to finish it off screen. We're just going to see the final product at the, well, we might, at the again, end of it. And, we, and might say, stream, it. we might stream extra days that week. We might do a little extra streaming, all right? Um, I want to figure out how to set up an extra camera for you, and it's going to be a big hassle. Yeah. But... It should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. I'd be real excited. I think there's also going to be some extra we have two bonus webcams. prizes. Two webcams. I know. It, well, I have to see about getting a longer cable for you. Anyway, I'll um, buy one. I'll do it. Um, I think there's going to be some extra prizes from other community members. 
So not just oh. the three slabs that I'm giving away, but also some other uh, comics from other people in the community. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. I'll be making announcements um, once I have more information. And there's only one way to get us there, and that's to subscribe. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, when we get to a thousand subscribers, you know, it's gonna be a big thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put this comic right there. Like I said, Jane's got to go. I like that book a lot, but <laughs> right I mean, it, it's gotta go right there. Like that's that's the spot. You know what I mean? Uh, also, this weekend, probably actually this this whole wall is gonna get changed around anyway, cause some I got some stuff coming in the mail, so it might be Friday's video is what. I'll oh my god, it's 4.30. Yeah, so... Let's um, stop. I'm hungry. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. This video is going to go live in like... Well, I mean, after editing, we're going to go out live in like four hours. But anyway, um, we're going to attempt to maybe get some sleep tonight. And, and we will see you next time. Bye. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.